Hey everyone, in this video we're visiting an epic two-story log tree house in Wakefield, Quebec. It was built with salvaged and leftover building materials that the builder saved for years before starting this project. The upstairs is a complete living area with two sleeping spaces, a kitchen, living and dining room, and a small bathroom. Downstairs is an outdoor lounge area and a full indoor bathroom. It's a really unique space and we're excited to give you a tour, so let's go check it out. It's a two-story treehouse. The upstairs is the indoor heated space and downstairs is the deck covered porch. The entire structure sits on nine hemlock posts that are on concrete footings anchored to the bedrock. So we were fortunate to have such a solid base to set this on. We went with a treehouse theme, so we knew it had to be high off the ground and enter from below and feel like you're outside. It took three years from start to finish. I didn't want to have the pressure of a deadline. It was 100% supposed to be a fun project for me to reconnect with my trade. We access without having a ladder or a steep staircase because we, we have this bridge that starts from a cliff. So you enter the treehouse, but you're still outside. We're on the patio now, which is the summer living room. Uh, a bit of a bar here, a table and a, a nice nook to sleep in. We weren't sure how this would unfold over time, so we built it in a way we could close this in. This is already insulated, and if we bought windows to fill this, we could gain this space for winter use. But as it is, it's the best space and the most enjoyed, so I don't see us doing that anytime soon. In the winter, the, the snow blows in and you're outside, but people still use the space. And uh, there's a concrete floor and it, it's nicely sloped that all the water goes down the floor drains. In the washroom, there's a nice walk-in shower with glass walls with a nice sloped heated concrete floor, a toilet that's plumbed to a septic, and there's a nice counter. We obviously bought new ceramic for the walls and nice uh, shower glass to provide a really clean, comfortable, luxury washroom. The original plan was every time I went to the washroom, you had to go outside and, and come back inside. And we realized in the middle of the night in winter, that was a bit extreme. So we did squeeze a very small bathroom upstairs. Uh, we are upstairs in the living space. This is heated with everything you need. We have a kitchen, two bedrooms, a living room, and a dining room. Uh, behind this is the washroom. The floor is heated. That's the only heat source. So it, it doesn't make any noise or air movement. It's, it, it's really calming. This log room is about 18 by 20 feet. Including the bathroom downstairs, it gives 420 square feet of living space. A heated living space. The logs have been salvaged from barns in the valley that were made by hand by early settlers. They used axes to square them and we were able to collage them all together to make this treehouse. They're not all structural, They're, they provide a shelter from outside and they that's the only insulation. You can see this one was really crude, maybe didn't have that much experience, maybe it was in a rush. No, this one's nicer done, still done with an ax. You could tell it, it was from a building that had been painted. This is a living room, and this is a couch that makes the maximum use of the space. It's, it's very comfortable, or it folds out for a double mattress. We're up on the deck, screen porch. We're about 35 feet from the ground. There are no bugs that fly this high, but we've had uh, glasses fall over the edge so the screen's not there to keep bugs out it's really to keep uh, all your belongings in the uh, doors we get such high winds here that we had to put little locks on the doors from slamming shut we rarely close them all summer this is the kitchen which is obviously not recycled we got nice cabinets a nice mini uh, stove well water and little 
the storage uh, pantry, mini fridge. There's a large dining room that comfortably sits for and is a great place to sit and take in a view, watch the sunset. This is a single bedroom with a single mattress. This is the master bedroom. Uh, originally we thought this would be a wall, but after we spent some time in here, we realized if we raise the bed, we could take in the view and you can get coffee in bed at the bar. There's uh, lots of storage under the bed. And if you have to go to the washroom in the night, there's a small washroom here if you have to go and you don't want to walk outside. I used every piece of scrap I've taken home for the last 20 years. I had taken down a few barns, lots of different siding materials, old roofing, but the real thing that I had to incorporate were these nine 40-foot hemlock posts that came from a site that was cleared for a house. And they were the largest hemlocks I had seen in the area, and we never cut them. We used every piece of it. Everything you can see is reclaimed. There is uh, new plumbing and wiring insulation. The problem with using reclaimed materials is you often run out. So we definitely had to buy some metal to match or a couple posts to finish something, but it was a very small percentage. I feel that some of it came together so nice that it looks, it doesn't look like scraps anymore, but that's good. People like that. We're very exposed. So watching the storms roll through is amazing. And we had to change the roof design slightly. Originally, we planned to have a gable in facing the view to let more light in, but it was definitely taller than I imagined. And I thought having that big gable end facing the storms was a big sale. So we changed the roof to be more aerodynamic and we wanted to have as much natural light as possible and you see a bit of sky. So we made this cupola and it also provides natural ventilation as the hot air wants to rise. If, if you let it escape, it, it stays really comfortable in here and there's always fresh air without mechanical ventilation and our overhangs are four feet all around so the sunlight even though we're in the sky and fully exposed the sun is not directly in the windows we put a lot of insulation in the roof with a lot of ventilation to make sure that that heat is not transferred inside and with the well insulated heated floor it's comfortable all year We're connected to the grid and we didn't want to see any wires so we buried the connection and that's also where we hid the well line. We had to put a heated cable and insulate it so that our water supply doesn't freeze in winter. I built it but I also represent Wakefield Construction which consists of a great crew so we built it together. As a professional builder it's hard to find opportunities where you can really prove yourself and I've figured I had one chance to do something to the most of my ability. To me, it's a giant sculpture of everything I can offer. If you want to find out more about this treehouse, I'll put the Instagram and Airbnb links down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to Exploring Alternatives and check out our playlists for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.